Hi, I'm Kevin Mason and I'm Strategy Director at Procter & Stevenson. At its heart, Vision 2030 is about creating opportunities for the region, both inward investment and international trade. And this positions local businesses uniquely to capitalise on those opportunities. A central objective of Vision 2030 is digital transformation for business. And that offers businesses in the region the opportunity and on every digital touch point across the entire customer journey to reinforce what makes them distinctive and also what they offer uniquely to that opportunity. Distinctive brands connect what they do with the needs and the motivations and aspirations of their customer. A lot of businesses tend to view brand as a logo and they tend to view marketing as informing the market what they do. To be distinctive, you move that on to connecting with your customers. So everything that you say, every, the words that you use and the images that you use, connect your purpose with the purpose of your customers. That's the first point about distinctiveness, but words and images can only go so far. The words that you use need to be trusted by the people reading it. So the tone of voice is massively important. It needs to be authentic and spoken with clarity um, all the way through and consistently so that people build trust into, into what you're saying. And finally, to be really distinctive, you need to do it very, very clearly and simply over and over again. So try and be remembered for one thing. People are simple animals, actually. We only remember one thing. So you want to own that space in people's heads. A while back, we used to think of branding in terms of print first and physical, the physical world. But today, the majority of customer touch points, and certainly the first customer touch point, is likely to be digital. So we start thinking digital first. We talked about being distinctive and talking with clarity. Digitally, that's massively important. The attention span online is about eight seconds. So you have eight seconds to convince someone when they first come to your website that they're in the right place, you offer what they're wanting, um, but more importantly, what sets you apart from um, uh, everybody else that they're talking about, the one thing that you want them to remember. So that's the first thing. Um, second thing is, uh, we talked about logo. Logo um, needs to be thought of not only uh, in the physical world, but digitally first. So it needs to be crisp and distinctive on the biggest screen all the way down to the tiniest screen. So that's really important. Um, and then, uh, rather than thinking about what it's going to be like to read and, and have a piece of paper in front of you, think about how the brand manifests itself through all the digital channels. So how is it going to look and sound in video? Augmented reality? How will it sound on a digital um, assistant? How will you come across in a virtual event? These things are the things which we think about first and then we, th then we apply that to print in the physical world. So we've talked at the, a broad level about what makes a brand authentic, um, connecting your purpose with the purpose of customers and, and differentiating, differentiating yourself. But there are some unique things which need to be considered for Saudi businesses taking their place on the world stage. That's a challenge about the meeting of two cultures, basically. So um, it's a balance between retaining the authenticity and the heart and passion of Arabic heritage, um, which celebrates, uh, uh, visually celebrates the, the, um, the nuance and the delicacy with that of the international audience. International brands tend to be very bold, brash, very simple. So getting that balance is really important. Getting there requires a really deep understanding Firstly, of your customers, so using research to do that, and not, not only understanding what, 
how what you offer matches what they want, but also digging deeper to understand what's going on in their industry. If you're a B2B company, what's going on in your customer's customer's market and what's driving them to, to need what you want. If you can show that, if you can show empathy with that, then that makes you distinctive. Um, second thing is, um, culturally, when you have two different cultures talking together, semiotics plays a big part. So that's, that's the words you use, the images, the, the graphic icons, um, because you may use them and it means something to you, but it may mean something entirely different to someone else. So researching that really thoroughly is, is a really good thing um, and quite necessary for, for you know, uh, Saudi businesses uh, opening themselves up. Um, and finally, the tone of voice. Um, uh, Arabic tradition tends to be tends to um, celebrate the uh, uh, the softer side of communication, whereas Western communication tends to be more direct. So, getting that balance and, and speaking authentically and clearly with confidence, you know, it's, it's and, and being approachable. They're the things which are going to make um, uh, Saudi companies authentic to themselves, but also integrate themselves into the international community. So we've talked about authenticity of brands and about connecting your purpose with the purpose of, of customers and differentiating yourself from everybody else out there that does what you do. So the first step in creating a strategy is actually a long period of research to inform the decisions. If you don't have that depth of research, then you're shooting from the hip. You might get it right, you might not. So that covers a number of things, really. Um, it will start with desk research, competitor analysis, um, uh, looking at your collaterals at the moment, um, how you talk about yourself, and, and then uh, creating a map of, where, of, the, of the options of where we might go. Then, most importantly, is um, uh, talking to your customers. So uh, 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 a long session of um, focus groups and qu uh, qualitative research um, to see how people are engaging with you at the moment, what they think of your competitors, what they think makes you special, what's motivating them. Get all of that data, all of that information so that you can make an informed decision. Equally important, for authenticity is that the brand has to come from within your own people if you don't get that right then we might create something which is really appealing and speaks very very well to your customers but when they meet your people it all falls apart because it's not a true reflection of who you are so that relies on understanding everybody understanding the the, the purpose of the of of the exercise but also getting their input so that through the process, they feel involved. And that's everybody from um, uh, uh, the executives through to sales, marketing, uh, you know, internal functions. We interview everybody, we have sessions with them and we talk about what's the, what's the, the strategy for the company, where, what, what are our growth ambitions, all of these things to get internal perceptions, but also involve them in the process so that by the time they come to the end, they've created something which they feel ownership of. Having all of that data is all very well, but actually the point of it is to make decisions. So once we've gathered all that information, it's really important that we create a, a concise report. It has all the detail if you want to delve into it, but it pulls out all of the key facts in order to make the, the decisions. It'll also create things like pers customer personas so that we get a real picture of, of, you know, it's like someone sitting in the room with you. Um, massively important, not just for the strategy, but when we actually start to roll out the brand as well. Um, all of that, once we've created the, the architecture of the brand, that's the dry stuff, that's the strategy done. But that's the stuff where things get exciting because then that hand gets handed over into the creative department to make that creatively really sing. But it's underpinned by the foundations which are going to make it work. Once the creative department have created the, the, the manifestation of that strategy, the next stage is then to test it. 
So we'll test it before, we, before it's launched with customers and internally to make sure that it's on point and then refine it. But that's then just the beginning. The launch is just the beginning. Continuously measuring the output on every channel, through every campaign, through every piece of collateral, um, to make sure that the messages are getting through, that people are not only aware, but have affinity with the brand, that the, um, the messages are converting uh, um, uh, leads into customers, um, that throughout the customer life cycle, um, from uh, prospecting all the way through to loyalty, the brand is working as hard as it can. And that we use those measurements to optimize it. So it's not a fixed point in time. Brands launch, brilliant, okay, let's go. It's actually that brand's launch, now the work starts. Well, on our website, we have a fantastic resource, uh, our Knowledge Hub. So there's many, many articles covering a lot of what we've talked about today. Um, specifically, I've written a few. So um, the most recent is a two-parter, which explores um, brand building for business-to-business -business companies. Um, and the principles of that. And I've also written one um, particularly for businesses in KSA, which is about uh, branding for the world stage.